there are many times when uh, islam requires us to do something which is permissible and requires us to stay within the bounds of things which are considered acceptable by god almighty and not transgress those those uh, bounds now as far as uh, certain aspects of society or our culture are concerned there might be elements in that culture which go against religion which might be irreligious or immoral so what we have to do is that as far as our personal self is concerned as far as i as an individual am concerned i have the right to do what i desire to do as far as my own individual life is concerned i have the right to speak the truth i also have the freedom to not speak the truth so as far as this is concerned i have the choice to be uh, materialistic i have the choice to adopt a uh, materialism to the extent that it serves my basic needs and does not surpass my basic needs so that i end up being overly materialistic and forget about being spiritual so i have choices as far as my individual life is concerned and here we have the complete freedom to be within the bounds of religion as far as life outside our individual self is concerned when it comes to society when it comes to people at large when it comes to uh, entire regions or communities i am not the person who chooses how people should behave how people should be what culture exists in society or how people what norms people follow so there you have no option except to let people be the way they are you have the option to counsel people you have the option to explain to them compassionately and reasonably in a wise way in a way that addresses their mind to adopt the way which you think is proper to follow the course which you think is correct but you cannot impose your will on society you can only impose your will as far as your own self is concerned so this is why we have to be uh, idealistic as far as our own individual being is concerned but for society for people outside of us we have to be pragmatic we have to be practical